Welcome to Google I.O. and welcome to Shoreline. It feels really nice and different up here. We've been doing it for many, many years in Moscone. And in fact, we've been doing I.O. for 10 years. Uh, but I feel we are at a pivotal moment in terms of where we are going as a company and felt appropriate to change the venue. Doing it here also allows us to include a lot more of you. There are over 7,000 of you joining in person today. We truly want to take the next step in being more assistive for our users. So today, we are announcing the Google Assistant. So what do we mean when we say the Google Assistant? We want to be there for our users, asking them, hi, how can I help? We think of the Assistant in a very specific way. We think of it as a conversational assistant. We want users to have an ongoing two-way dialogue with Google. We want you to help get things done in your real world. And we want to do it for you, understanding your context, giving you control of it. We think of this as building each user their own individual Google. Here's another example. You can ask Google who directed the Revenant the Revenant was directed by Alejandro Gonzalez in Eritu. And you can follow that up with the question, show me his awards. Notice that I didn't say the name, which I'm glad because I find that name very, very hard to pronounce. <laughs> and Google could pick that conversation up and return the right answer. When I walk into my house, I want to be able to continue to have access to the Google Assistant, but I should be able to interact with it in a hands-free way, simply using my voice without having to take out my phone. This is why we're creating Google Home. This is Google Home. We think it'll be a beautiful addition to any room in your house. We created a short video to bring the product into a family setting to capture what it might be like in the future to have your personal Google around the house. Let's roll the video. OK, Google, play the morning playlist. OK, playing morning playlist. OK, Google, play music in all rooms. OK, Google, I'm listening. Your flight to Portland is delayed by 30 minutes. Change my dinner reservation tonight from 7.30 to 8. Your reservation at Andina is now confirmed for 8 p.m. Hey, Google, text Louise. Flight is delayed. Dinner moved to 8. OK, message sent. Morning. Morning. Hey, Google, turn the lights on in Kevin's room. I thought you finished that already. Um, I forgot. OK, Google, what's apples in Spanish? Manzanas. Hey, Google, has my package shipped? Yes, it's already shipped. It'll arrive tomorrow. Ooh, is that for me? Maybe. Interesting. OK, Google, how many stars are in our galaxy? Well, there are about 100 to 400 billion stars, according to space.com. Which star is the closest? According to NASA, the nearest star system is Alpha Centauri. Can you show me what it looks like on the TV? Okay, Google, how's the traffic from Pebble Rock School to the airport? Your normal route has heavy traffic. There's a faster one that'll take about 35 minutes. I've sent it to your phone. Okay. Let's go. Dad! Hey, Google? What's on the calendar today? The first event is Space Day at Kevin's school. It starts at 8 a.m. Space Day. Are you ready, buddy? Ready. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> OK, Google. Goodbye. Goodbye. The first is a new messaging app called Allo. Thank you. 
Allo is a smart messaging app. It learns over time to make conversations easier, more expressive, and more productive by bringing all the richness of Google right into your chat. Allo is based on your phone number, so you can easily get in touch with anyone in your phone book. So they're planning a dinner, and Joy now says she'd like Italian food. The assistant intelligently recognizes that they could use some tips for Italian restaurants nearby. And you can see its proactive suggestion at the bottom of the screen there. Tapping this brings up restaurant cards that everyone in the chat can see. These are powered by Google's knowledge graph, which means that Allo can help with all kinds of information in the real world. I'd like to introduce you to Duo, a simple one-to-one -one video calling app for everyone. <laughs> Duo is the video, call, video companion to Allo. It's fast and performs well even on slow networks. It's end-to-end -end encrypted. It's based on your phone number, allowing you to easily get in touch with the people you care about. And it works on both Android and iOS. But here's a feature that makes Allo really special. We call it Knock Knock. Knock Knock shows you a live video stream of the caller before you've even picked up. I'm getting a call from my daughter, Ava. I use Ava for all my demos. So as you can see, and Elena apparently too is popping in there. <laughs> I haven't even picked up yet, but Ava's right there, smiling and making funny faces. I can tell she's really eager to talk, so let's answer it. Hi, Dad. Hi, Ava. Hi, Hi Elena. Dad. <laughs> Hi, girls. Are you done with your presentation yet? Almost. I'll be done soon. Could you wave to everybody? Hi, everybody. All right. All right. Bye. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> I'm Clay Bavore, and I lead the virtual reality team at Google. And, and, uh, and yeah, just to get right to it, virtual reality is coming to Android N. <laughs> so it all actually started at a Google I.O. two years ago with Cardboard. And since then, Cardboard has done some pretty amazing things. There are millions of them out there in the world, in all shapes and sizes. We've enabled thousands of developers to build their first VR app, and users have installed over 50 million cardboard-enabled apps. We think that's pretty good for what is, after all, just a piece of cardboard. Now, we love cardboard, and for us, it represents so much of what we think VR should be about. It should be mobile. It should be approachable. Now, what we've built won't be available until this fall but we'd like to introduce you to it today. We call it Daydream. Daydream is our platform for high-quality mobile virtual reality, and in it are all of the ingredients you need to create incredible immersive VR experiences. It's important. These improvements are part of the core of Android N, so that the entire ecosystem can benefit. And what that means for developers is there are going to be a lot of Daydream-ready phones. In fact, Samsung, Alcatel, Asus, Huawei, HTC, LG, Xiaomi, and ZTE all will have smartphones that are compatible with the Daydream Ready spec, and several will be available this fall. We talked a lot today about machine learning and AI. We think there is an opportunity to accelerate computing by working on this with everyone else. And so we are trying to do that in two ways. First, we are opening up core components of our machine learning systems. Second, for developers and companies out there, we are also exposing our machine learning capabilities through our Google Cloud platform. We believe that the real test is whether humans can achieve a lot more with the support of AI assisting them. Things previously thought to be impossible may in fact be possible. We look forward to building this future together with all of you. Thank you for joining us at Google I.O. <laughs>